Hello, I'm Michael Strong, founder of The Socratic Experience, a school online virtually from grades 3 through 12 where one of our primary activities is engaging in intellectual dialogue with each other. It is called The Socratic Experience because I'm a great believer that the process of questioning that was exemplified by Socrates and the Platonic Dialogues is designed to help each of us become midwives to each other's ideas. The metaphor of a midwife was one used by Plato and presumably Socrates. As a consequence of using reasoning and evidence, conceptual consistency, to understand our ideas more clearly, I believe we've become incredibly creative. I see the Socratic questioning process as the root of much of the intellectual creativity of Western Europe. I also believe that it helps us develop an individual conscience where if we very slowly and carefully think through our beliefs and the grounds on which we hold our beliefs, that leads us to a distinctive perspective. The heroic tradition of Socrates and Galileo is very important to me, but of course it is silly to regard it as in any sense white or European. Martin Luther King definitely had an individual conscience developed by means of his vast reading and letters from the Birmingham jail exemplifies that. There were great enlightenment thinkers in Christian Ethiopia during the enlightenment. The heritage of being able to think and talk about ideas in a mutually respectful way that yet is based on an endless questioning of how do you come to your ideas and why is a powerful tradition and it must not be lost. I see it as the engine for creativity and innovation now and endlessly into the future. So people ask me sometime, what are the beliefs on which the Socratic experience is based? I would say first and foremost, it's the belief in the power of mutually respectful dialogue where we engage each other in how our beliefs are consistent and coherent with each other. To some extent, that impulse is reflected in modern day approaches such as steel manning rather than straw manning, the argument of the other. It's also reflected in Bayesian thinking where we are aware of, in Socratic terms, what we know that we don't know. So if you are interested in ensuring that your child really learns to think deeply and carefully about how different ideas hold together or where the gaps in those ideas might be. Please consider the Socratic experience. This is an absolutely essential way of understanding the world that is sadly becoming rarer than it once was. So thank you. For more, please contact us at the Socratic experience and I'd be happy to answer more questions. I've thought long and hard on this. Thank you. Bye-bye.